This electric motorcycle manufacturer is already popular in the close-knit community of EV fans, mainly because its first e-bike model, called the Project Zero, this year, the manufacturer is bringing their second model, which received the Project One nameplate. Project One is a dual-sport motorcycle model, powered by a 14-kilowatt electric motor and a 3-kilowatt-hour battery pack. Such powertrain specifications enable it to last up to 68 miles between charges and show electrified sprints to the top speed of 60 miles per hour. Developed to be as capable in off-road conditions as in the city, the Project One has wire-spoked wheels, an inverted fork suspension in the front, a monoshock suspension in the rear, and boasts 12.6 inches of ground clearance. The manufacturer takes great pride in its battery technology. The packs support DC fast charge stations and need only 30 minutes to be juiced up. The company is currently working to develop a nationwide charging network in its home country, Nepal, but even without a fast charging station, you can get back on the road after just two hours of home charging. The manufacturer also claims that its batteries can last for 75,000 miles and without losing more than 20% of the original capacity. This new electric vehicle packs some interesting specifications and exciting engineering solutions. But how does it compare to the other upcoming models, as well as those that are already available for purchase? Let's take a closer look. After successfully bringing to the market an electric street motorcycle last year, Spanish Ox Motorcycles have announced a campaign that will let them produce one more model. Their upcoming motorcycle is called Patagonia, and it will likely be kindly greeted by the admirers of the dual sport motorcycle class. This model will be based on a tubular steel chassis and equipped with mismatched wheels with adventure-ready tires, a 17-inch wheel with an in-hub motor in the rear, and 19-inch spoked front wheel. The installed rear hub motor has the continuous power output rating of 8 kilowatts, while the peak output power could reach 16 kilowatts. Such powertrain specifications will let you travel at speeds close to 68 miles per hour. The power to the motor is supplied via a set of two removable battery packs, granting you 60 miles of range autonomy. Each 72 volt, 44 amp hour battery pack weighs 33 pounds and needs four hours to be fully charged. Since the Patagonia is an adventure-ready machine, it received metal side protection on both sides and a guard for the LED headlight. The base model also comes with leather side saddlebags, offering 14 liters of cargo carrying capacity. Additional storage space is also available in the glove box inside the tank area. The glove box also has a USB charging socket for your electronics. The Patagonia is street legal both in the US and in Europe. The list of standard features includes two mirrors, indicator lights, reflectors, fenders, a carrier for the license plate, a horn, and an LCD display that connects you to a smart ride assistant called Elisa. Elisa will help you analyze your performance data, activate 360-degree sensors, or plan your trip with the help of a GPS function. Originally known as Apabus, the Rome Motors is a Swedish Kenyan EV company that's been working on zero emission transport alternatives for African countries. Their work has yielded a creation of all electric conversion kits for battery electric trucks, buses, and various types of public transportation. Recently, they also started working on two wheeled transport. Their first bike is called Rome Air. It's a light, dual sport electric motorcycle with an exceptionally affordable price. The model is equipped with an 8-kilowatt electric motor that makes 136 pound-feet of torque. Such motor is powerful enough to reach 55 mile per hour speeds. The time to reach the top speed is said to be about 5 seconds. The battery setup of Rome Air is represented by two modules with a 3.24 kilowatt hour capacity each. The battery units can be recharged through a portable 240 volt AC charger. The charging process takes about four hours and can be carried out even when the battery is removed from the motorcycle's housing. With two completely charged batteries, this motorbike can cover the distance of up to 110 miles with the payload of up to 485 pounds.
Zero DSR and DSR Black Forest are the most advanced models in Zero's dual sport family. The Black Forest is a special edition bike that gets an all-black exterior treatment and becomes comfier for long-distance trips. During its most recent update, this model added a new handguard, touring windscreen, a seat, and a headlight guard and three hard cases. The bike is suspended by Showa forks up front and Showa monoshock at the rear. Both are adjustable for preload, compression, and rebound damping. The stopping power comes courteous of a J1 asymmetric dual piston brakes in the front and a single piston floating caliper in the rear. The Bosch Gen 9 ABS system is standard too. The base bike modification is equipped with a 14.4 kilowatt hour battery, but you can upgrade to the optional 18.0 kilowatt hour battery pack. That also features level two charging with impressive 116 pound feet of torque and 102 mile per hour top speed the DSR still has a manage to offer 105 miles of combined range with its regular battery or 132 miles with a power tank upgrade. The Swedish startup Cake manufactures some of the lightest and best balanced electric scooters, utility motorcycles, and dirt bikes. Kalk is their flagship model, and it's offered in a variety of modifications geared towards specific riding scenarios. Today, we'd like to talk about their dual sport modification. This two-wheeler is street legal under A1 or M1 licenses, and is considered over a forged and CNC machine aluminum frame. Its mid-mounted, permanent magnet motor with direct chain drive operates at 10 kilowatts of power and 185 pound-feet of wheel torque. The Kalk Dual Sport has three rides and brake modes, weighs 174 pounds, and grants you the top riding speed of 56 miles per hour. The range parameters vary between one and three hours of mixed riding. The battery charge can be restored to the full in about three hours with an external charger from a regular power outlet. The bike's superior riding comfort comes courtesy of the premium Olin's three-staged air spring suspension system with 204 millimeters of travel. The suspension also offers high or low speed compression and rebound adjustments. The model is rolling on a set of custom 19-inch rims wrapped in dual sport motorcycle tires. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new product reviews in the comments section below. Thanks once again and till next time.